Well, folks, this is it. Here we are. We're at that line in the sand that I've been talking about with the Tesla stock price, and it collapsed down. I'm going to go over exactly what I'm talking about with the technicals on Tesla and the Tesla stock price prediction. Is it, is it still one of the best stocks to buy now? And I'm not talking long term. I get it. Some people want to hold it forever and just keep buying every single week. I do that with Ethereum. I do that with VLO. I do that with QQM. So I get it. But I am actively trading many of these individual stocks, including Tesla. So that gets to where we're at today. I'm going to get over it. And everybody, I'll make it easy on you. I'm going to tell you my exact plan as we go over these technical charts. Oh, it's been wild. We did a live stream in the Discord today, the Stock Mo Patreon. If you haven't joined today, you should. I'm going to show you the newest update. This thing is massive. And we're going to pull this in right now. I got to tell you. As you can see everything going on, the stock bot, the stock mo bread bot is official. You guys see it little, look how cute that is. The little stock mo logo down there, everything. This is something we worked on forever. Check this out, ready? I wanna show you guys this. <clears throat> you guys know how we have the bread bot? Check it out. Maybe you don't, we just, this is beta. It is almost live, almost live. But <clears throat> as you see, stock mo indicator, ticker, let's pull up Tesla. So we pull up Tesla, hit enter, put it in, let the stock bot do its thing, and boom, it pulls up the chart, and check this out. This is just absolutely awesome, and it tells us everything. If you sell short here, you would have made a lot of money. Then it kind of fights it out with the, the mixed signals, and then the sell signal takes over, and then you make money. So pretty cool, sell, made money, sell, made money, buy, sell, kind of a mix, but it's still ending down. So this is the newest thing that we will be releasing in the next few days. So for those who are in there, that'll be a premier level item. Uh, and if you would like to come over, that link is down below for the Stockmo Patreon premier level. The bot is coming soon. Yes, I hear old, uh, <laughs> old Tesla cat meowing in the background. So let's check out some of the sweeps today for those who've been following. You're seeing a mix now of puts and calls. Look at Meta, 3.7 million on the sweeps. This is also one of the things that you get over here. And if you follow the big money, you start to get the idea. Citigroup, the banks, I see a lot of puts on those lately. Fang stocks and chips still getting the, the call options. Uh, wow, wow. So a lot of difference now. A couple days ago, I showed you these. It was all green. Everything was green. Not this time around. All right, now let's get into what everybody wants to know about. Let's talk this Tesla. What are you doing, Mo? Where are you going? Is it time? This is it. I, I, I got to be honest with you. I was praying that Tesla would be able to pull out a rabbit out of their hat. They were not able to. So we broke the Bollinger Band. What we want to do is hold the Bollinger Band, push back up. Today <clears throat> did not do that. So we are at a point that I call my red line. The red line is right here. If we cross 153 and confirm below 153, which means one more day, tomorrow is the day I make up my mind. In other words, if Tesla <clears throat> cannot pull itself up closer to that line, I'm done. In other words, if we close below 149.90, I'm out. If it can push up and get back into the zone, I will hold. In other words, the confirmation is what I'm waiting for at this point. So if Tesla has another red day, I take my tax loss, I get burned on Tesla, I will move those monies into another play, I will take the tax break and come back and revisit in 31 days. In other words, I take a break, we're on a break, as they used to say on Friends, I'm on a break, there you go, 31 days, I'll come back, we'll go on another date. But this is where we're at right now, like I said, my, my indicator telling us it's been bearish. If you followed the indicator, you made money, you made money, uh, you're making money. And so going against the indicator is tough. Do not do it. Ugh. All right, here we go. So also looking into the markets today, as you can see across the board, I made a purchase on the small account challenge. I know a lot of people are wondering what you're doing. So if you haven't done it, sign up. You get instant access to fractional shares. Put $100 in down below for Moomoo. You will get a, sh a little piece of all seven of the Magnificent Seven, which is absolutely insane. All you gotta do is put a hundred bucks in, uh, and it's great. That's where I'm doing my small account challenge at. Today, I ended up buying one of these seven. I ended up buying Google. 
I bought Google yesterday. I bought Google again today. I like Google. Why do you like Google so much? Why are you buying? Look at this chart, right? Let's talk about the best stocks to buy now. Look at this chart. You see red, 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 bearish. Why would you want to touch this? When you, you got others out there, look at the difference. Up, 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 up. We were bullish, had a little bit of a pullback, bullish again. Broke the resistance, we're running, we play, came up, hit the resistance again, came up, bounced it off the 13. In other words, I think we're gonna move higher over the next two weeks. I like this chart setup. RSI is solid at 60.45, it's good. It's what I like to see, all right? And so as you get into this, now for those over at the Discord, make sure you're taking advantage of reading these. You can come in here and name, Stockmo indicator, ticker, Goog. And once we have Google in there, we go ahead and let the bot do its thing. Boom, pulls the chart up. You see what's going on, family. You see what's going on. Nice bullish chart. Uh, this is an, a feature that's going to take it to the next level. You get all, hey, it said red here, Mo. Yeah, you short, down it goes. Hey, Mo, it switched. That means you are now switching too. It goes up. It tells you basically the optimum, the optimal, optimal time to take advantage of it. And doesn't, you know, I can't tell you when to buy or sell. I can give you the chart that basically screams opportunity, screams get out. If that's what you've been looking for, it's done. We got basically a day or two and it should be live. So I'm I'm hoping it'll be live for hopefully maybe tomorrow. Worst case scenario, I do believe Monday we, we should be good to go. We're there. So for those who haven't joined, get in there. All right, now the other things. Ooh, TMF, what's going on with TMF family? So today was one of them days, we had a monster day yesterday, right? So you have this monster day over the last two days. We go up about four or 5, 4%, right? Now we come back down about 1.66. Is this the new floor? And you can see over the last few days, we had that sell off. Did all the fear get priced in of only one to two rate cuts? I don't know. I'm gonna be blunt with you. There's a chance we will head back down to 38. And I said it before, if we can't hold a certain level, we are gonna probably run to 38. That was the ultimate bottom before. I believe it could be the ultimate bottom again. So you could be looking at 10, 15% more losses as a new bottom. And that double bottom, in my opinion, if we hit a double bottom, would be an ultimate bottom, bo double bottom, which should lead to a monster up swing because of the damage it does. In other words, rates being higher and costing companies more money and consumers more money should lead to a absolute crushing uh, for the economy and everything that the Fed wants to do. And thus, people start rallying into these long rate, the long dated treasuries and the rates they're offering, huge amount of money. And so I am watching this. So the pain's still there. We could still have another 15% down. And on top of that, uh, that could take a while. It could take another couple months. So for those riding along with me on this one, not a good day. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. From this point on, I'd love to see some sideways action. Have that new low, new higher low and then start moving up and getting back above 67. But uh, it's not a question of if this will rally ever again. It's a question of when it will rally. So unlike a corporation, we understand that the, the United States debt, as they deal with it here, have a, has effect on consumers, on businesses. And things can get broken in the financials. And if they do, you're going to see this thing rally quickly. Remember, this at one point. 38, all the way up in a matter of a little over two months, 75% in basically nine weeks. 75% up in nine weeks. So could this do the same thing if things get nasty? Absolutely, but we're not there yet. And so that's one of the ones I'm watching as well. And the big thing, I know other, everybody's kind of watching Ethereum. I am as well. You can see we're in a nice bullish action today. Last five days though, you can see 1.70, 12.77% down over the last month. So until we get to 2,900 on the dot or lower, I will be buying on Monday. If tomorrow sometime we get into the 29 or lower, I will buy ETHE and that's my plan. I'm sticking to my plan still. And so we'll find out how it goes and kind of what we're watching for. A lot of opportunity out there. 
But unfortunately, the main thing, I know a lot of people, the Tesla. Woo! Tesla got hit hard. And here's my line in the sand. I know, I know, there's a million people. Don't, Mo, I'll come back. And we're just gonna, we're gonna break up for 31 days if it doesn't turn its act around over the next 24 hours. So basically, it's been put on notice. If we come out with a nasty red day tomorrow and this drops, I'm out. If it goes sideways or up, I'm still in. I was out, but you're, you're pulling me back in. That's what we're talking about. I like it. I, you know, overall, the, the opportunity for Tesla long term is good. Short term, I don't like what I'm hearing in the research. I don't like see, what I'm seeing in the actions. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. You know, you're pulling for it. But at the end of the day, you can see uh, we got down to this major area before uh, we rallied major area now but now we're breaking below right here you can see it uh and at that point you start to run down to this level which is 102 and we had that before all right we had this bounce all support here come back come down to the major line failed down it went to 10 101 102 and so my idea is we're going to have a very similar approach here we come down we bounced off this line came down and now we're going right underneath both and then you can see the same exact pattern here. Come down, bounce, up we get, and down we go. And so I don't want to mess around with that pattern because uh, the last time we broke that 153, we collapsed. This time we're breaking the 153 and we have massive layoffs where we know the inventory, it's all over the place. So I think if there's anything, you could see that push down. And so that's one of the things I'm concerned about. And the fact that the Fed's keeping rates up, which is going to kill it's, gonna, it's not good for Tesla. The Fed being higher for longer absolutely is, is concerning. Remember when Elon was, tech, it was tweeting about how damaging it would be if they went higher and then the Fed went higher. And so Fed, basically Elon warning us, this is bad. If they go higher, it's gonna break things. They went higher. And that was a long, long time ago. Now, not only did they go higher multiple times, now they're keeping it high. Oh, so very concerning. Lots of things out there to watch for. Main thing, like I said, come on over, get the get the bots, the newest things we're doing in the Discord. Link down below, or you can join here on YouTube. I, I know some people said I, I'm not familiar with it. Can I just be on YouTube? I should tell you, there is an opportunity that you can go ahead and join on YouTube if you want, um, or you can use the link up above. And uh, I'm gonna show you this, because I know some people out there who wanted to do that they didn't know how so let me let me give you a, a quick look here all you have to do underneath this video there's a join button right here if you hit that join button uh, all you got to do is the pre premium has the that's the one that has the fantastic bots and everything classic has some bots but not the new bread bot so it's up to you what you do but I'm just letting you know that's another way of doing it all right, get those free stocks from Moomoo down below. I'll catch you later. I am going to go over into the Discord and have some fun myself. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and dominate it.